Well, the Glen Ridge Rail Bridge strikes again, and this time we are hearing from the driver who did it. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb has reaction to the latest bridge strike in Glenville. A little over a month after the DOT completed turnarounds to avoid bridge strikes in Glenville, another truck striking the bridge this morning. This is what I live. Canadian driver Ajit Paul is the latest to hit the infamous bridge. I was coming downhill and there was a motorhome in front of me and I couldn't uh, stop. But he got pulled. He pulled over right before the before the bridge. Then only I saw the bridge and I did a hard break, but I couldn't stop. He says the motorhome in front of him, which was able to pull into the newly constructed DOT turnaround, also blocked his view of the several signs warning of the low clearance. Hitting the bridge was the only thing I could do, otherwise I, I could have gone to the ditch or something. A claim disputed by town officials. All 12 of the signs? I, I have a hard time believing that. His truck was able to get through to the other side with the top of the trailer torn open like a can going through a can opener, with debris lining the road below. The rail bridge scarred by the impact of yet another strike. It was quite a hit. Um, thankfully, no one got hurt. Again, we're able to say that, but the day's coming where we're not going to be able to say that. In addition to the turnarounds for westbound traffic, the DOT also has plans to construct detection systems on both sides of the bridge that would display an electronic warning to overheight trucks. That laser beam is what's going to work to call the attention to the driver and then allow them to use the turnaround. The design of that system is expected to be finalized this summer, with construction hopeful to start next year. Reporting in Glenville, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.